Hey, welcome back to another Patreon lesson. Um, I thought I would do a little series for the next little bit um, that I'm basically calling like creative kick drum setups. Um, I've had a couple people ask me, you know, what would be uh, some of the differences that you would do in terms of like miking setup and kick drum sound and the setup of the drum itself just for kind of non-typical kick sounds. Um, maybe in terms of size of the drum, maybe in terms of the setup of the drum, etc. So um, the one I wanted to start with today, and obviously I want to I want to preface all that with this is that um, what I'm going to be talking about is going to be sort of a specific to the drums that I have, but also I think a lot of the concepts will be useful on on whatever you have. Although I do realize, like for example, this one today is kind of unique, um, but it they are available. So. Um, I think some of the concepts will kind of transfer over to whatever you're you're playing on. Um, Um, so I think that's everything for this one. Uh, this is, you know, the tight, dead, subby kick sound. Um, I'll, I'll probably do a couple, a couple more about some, uh, other unique, uh, kick setups and sounds that I go for. Um, if you have any questions, as always ask, and if not, see you next time.